Hi, welcome to my channel, Becoming Bhadra. My name is Bhadra. Uh, it's a name that I was given two years ago, 2019, before I went on my trip to India. It was a name that um, came after almost two years of intense initiation and more initiation to, to go. And I share that journey on this channel. If this is something that you like, the spirituality is a conversation that you enjoy, then you should enjoy this conversation. I am um, responding to a video that Gigi Young did. The title of the video is In Plain Sight, a series of um, videos that she's done called In Plain Sight. Uh, the effects of trauma and, on the energy body. Um, uh, it, it, I have been following different spiritual teachers over the last few years, especially um, in order to try to comprehend what was happening to my life. And uh, she's been someone that I've um, been in connection with very recently, and I really respect her, her, um, her knowledge. She says um, the point that uh, I'd like to address, there are three points in her, in her teaching in her class that I'd like to address, and one of them is she talks about that uh, the opening of the heart to higher guidance and the inevitableness of as you open to higher guidance, guidance which for me is, um, that was an agouti that just walked by. <laughs> A-G-O-U-T-I. Oh, very interesting animal. So anyway, she talks about that as you open more towards higher guidance, and for me, higher guidance means to your own inner intuition, that how your chakras or your energy centers open up, will open up, open up as a result of that. She talks about um, that the portal for psycho psychic work is in the heart. And um, that hit home because that's been my experience, that the more that I leaned into allowing my intuition to guide me um, in everything, in everything, all, all the process of the day, not just when I had a query and I didn't quite know whether I should, do, it was lining myself up every single day to what is my highest saying for me today. And the result of that having more and more energy become available to me in, in regards to, you know, like becoming even more intuitive, um, having more gifts um, expand um, through me because of that. I, um, she was right on the money with that. Uh, point two, um, she speaks of free will and the necessity of free will and the choosing of the light and the dark. And, and, and I want to put that in quotes because we are very polarized in our thinking about good and bad and assigning good to light and bad to dark and the, the fact is that they coexist. But she talks about free will, that um, uh, we get to make that decision um, on where our choices lead us. She talks about, you know, that in, 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 it talks about the heart portal and that if it is not allowed, if higher guidance and our highest intuition isn't allowed to flourish, opening all the seven chakras, all the seven energy centers, then what happens in the suppression of the intuition and not allowing and not going in that direction means that you are limited to the energies of the lower three chakras, right? The heart is that mid place in between the upper and the lower chakras. And this has to open up for all to open up. If this doesn't open up, then that means that you're left with the lower chakras. So you're left in the zone of um, feeling threatened, feeling unsafe, uh, doing things from based on your perception of being unsafe, you know, in order to survive. And she talks also, and she says that, um, she mentions and how um, if you don't open your heart, if you refuse and you keep your heart closed, and not only does that build up the lower energies and the lower parts, but eventually your heart will just decide, the chakra will just decide to just not 
spin as it should be spinning, you know, because there's less and less attention. It's as if she says it, it's as if you starve it of love because the basis of, of life is love. The reason why we grow is love. There's the reason why plants grow is love, you know. Um, and I think in terms of, you know, my moment of, um, my moment of, of, of giving myself completely over to spirit, to spirit's guidance. And I remember being on my knees and crying. And at the same time, it was the most um, bittersweet of moments because it was for me coming into who I really was all the time anyway, that I was that love and, and me um, uh, choosing my free will, my human free will to give myself to that path, to give myself to spirit, to wanting to be of service, uh, that moment of that the highest form of living would, is to be of service to others, that there isn't any form of living higher than that to give yourself of service to others. It could be just one other. It doesn't have to be millions and millions and billions of others. I'm, sti- I'm trying to get past 10 maybe. <laughs> yeah? So anyway, if you like this topic, please like, comment, um, subscribe, and also click on that little notification bell because uh, YouTube won't let you know when I post my next video unless you do that. Um, I thank you for your support. The, the last point is that she says in here in regards to trauma specifically is that when you heal yourself, your intuition returns. And I was like, my heart was just like jumping up and down when she said that because it was like, yes, 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 yes. I can completely relate to that. You know, I completely relate to that. That as I started to work more into processing my trauma because it took me so long to be able to recognize that trauma was the issue. I kept thinking the personality was the issue, but trauma conditioned the personality. And I did not know trauma was also weighing down my energy centers. It was weighing down my intuitive abilities. And so this journey of this energy coming through me and the sound coming through me is directly proportionate with the amount of time, with the amount of uh, willingness to process, to heal, not just from my personal trauma, but also from uh, ancestral trauma and collective trauma. Because we are a collective. We are a collective. There is no I that is separate. We really are doing all this together. So when we heal ourselves, we heal our ancestors and we heal the collective. I hope this message um, was of value to you. Yes, I hope this message was of value to you. Um, Thank you for staying in this conversation. Um, If you like this topic, you might like my playlist um, entitled Musings of a Melanated Kundalini Awakening, where I share the last, um, well, it was my, the last six months in Costa Rica. Um, And on Becoming Badra, I will I'll, uh, share more about how I ended up in Costa Rica. And now I'm in Contadora Island, Panama, so I'll share that as well too. Thank you so much for being in this conversation.